Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today gonna to be talking about Crowcoin, the crypto.com coin. As we can see, got a lot to talk about today. Currently sitting at about 56 cents. Here we are at 55.9 volume down about 16 percent now the overall market is actually in a bit of a decline today as we can see down about one and a half percent in this 2.21 trillion dollar market cap now if we're looking across the board we can see nothing but red it's another down day you know it's been pretty red over the last few weeks you know a few green days here and there but we still haven't gotten out of the mud yet as you can see bitcoin in that forty seven thousand dollar Ethereum holding just above 37. We saw it go to like $3,600 yesterday. But as you can see, everything taking a dip here. SHIB down here at 33, always down, of course, with the market. And Crow, of course, as you can see, over the seven day, down about 3%. But, um, you know, we had those nice highs just um, a couple weeks back in November, hitting at almost 97 cents, being at like 96.9. So we still haven't got back there, but we're still nowhere near any of the highs for any of these altcoins, any of these cryptos right now, as you can see, as we're in this bearish type market. Now, looking at the fear and greed index, we can see what's going on. So right now, extreme fear, right? So we have 22. So here's the historical value. So yesterday was 27 which is still extreme and then last week we just had a bit of fear 34 and 40 40 is kind of right here into the yellow right we we're not into the green once we start getting into the green we are going to start seeing some nice momentum some nice growth some nice um gainers in the market but right now as you can see extreme fear a lot of people speculating you know everybody was kind of hoping that bitcoin was going to hit that hundred thousand dollars but here we are, you know, just a day away and we're sitting at 47. So we'll be lucky if we can even get up past 50. But I think we're going to stay around this level over the next few days. And I think the market's going to turn around, but possibly later end of January. But I'm thinking more about February, right? January is always a slow month. You know, it's right after Christmas, all business work, all the businesses, etc. people going back to work. So it tends to be slow in January. But I think February, we're going to see a nice increase. Now, of course, crypto.com right now is currently sitting in 16th place, according to market cap. So we've slipped a few places over the last few weeks, but no doubt in my mind that 2022 is going to be a very strong year for crypto.com, especially with the new signage being put up on the Staples Center, which is now the crypto.com arena. So if we take a look at the chart, so taking a look at the three month really paints a nice picture here. So you can see well back here, at the beginning of October, you can see it's sitting at around 17 cents. Just not too much action, right? Just a lot of consolidation before it does this monster run. And then here we get this nice high, you know, hitting almost 97 cents at the end of November, right? We had a nice run for pretty much all the cryptos, all the altcoins out there at this time, you know, November 24th, November 25th. So real nice. But ever since then, you know, really hasn't been able to hold on. It's been coming down a few pops here and there, as you can see. But um, after a few pops or a nice pop up, we have a couple days, a week of down, nice red. And then we kind of pop back up. We know we started to see this just before Christmas, started to see some more action, as you saw here, you know, getting to about like the 65, 66 cent range. At this point, a lot of people thought we were out of the mud, but as you see, we keep kind of coming back down and now we're sitting at this mid 50 range at this 55, 56 cent range, which is a great opportunity to pick up more, obviously not financial advice. So in regard to news, I want to take a look at this article. So right here we have crypto.com coin is rising based on the long-term value of its exchange. So going through this article here, as more people begin trading cryptocurrencies and they might migrate to new exchanges like crypto.com, expect to see the value of their tokens rise. As a result, crypto.com coin crow tokens will rise as people migrate to its crypto exchange. Crypto.com coin is now on a rebound from year end selling. So this is true, right guys? A lot of people are going to buy into the crypto.com. Myself, I have a crypto.com account and that's only going to bring more users, more investors over to the crow coin because I am invested, you know, full disclosure, I'm invested in the crow coin. I've picked up many multiple times throughout these you know these red markets you know i picked up about last week and i'm looking to pick up more if we dip below 50 cents if we go back into the 40s as we are sometimes we hit about 48 49 cents very quickly you know it's a very short period i will be buying more at that point as well all right so crow reached a peak of 95.28 cents on november 24th so right almost hitting that 96 cent all-time high and has drifted down ever since it reached a rough 
trough on December 20th at just below 50 cents. We hit that 48 cent. It was very brief, guys. Whoever got in, very, very fortunate. I'm going on to say by the end of day on December 26th, which just a couple days ago, Crow had risen to over 62 cents, right? That represents a gain of over 28% from its bottom. Nevertheless, the crypto was still well off its highs over one third, so about 35%. In fact, if we were to rise to that former high, Crow would gain another 52%. So as you can see, crypto.com is one of the 15th largest. So today we're technically the 16th by market cap, right? So let me just... All right, so recently crypto.com issued a report, a research report on its website with its own predictions for 2022. This report gives a pretty sweeping overview of how the cryptocurrency market fared, sorry, in 2021 and how they might change in 2022. So according to the Daily Hodl, which reviewed the document, one of its main forecasts relates to the number of crypto users. For example, the crypto exchange forecasts that the number of crypto users will reach 1 billion by the end of 2022. And even in a more interesting forecast, Crypto.com predicts that some countries facing high inflation levels will try to adopt cryptocurrency as legal tender to combat that. So the exchange that these countries will be following the example of El Salvador in this regard. Uh, scrolling down a little bit here. So moreover, the daily huddle sells that Crypto.com predicts that cryptos will become a staple in the traditional finance portfolios. It says that they will become part of what institutional investors call their alternative assets. Going on to say that the most important prediction that the daily, daily huddle po points out is that where traditional brokerages stand going forward, these brokerage firms are likely to set up partnerships with exchanges like Crypto.com. This will allow them to integrate crypto into their main services from payments to transfers and investments. So going on to talk about how this will help Crow, as a result, expect to see a major deal between Crypto.com and one or two brokerage firms sometime during 2022. This will be beneficial to both sides. And I definitely can see these huge brokerage firms teaming up with Crypto.com of all the exchanges out there. Right, so as an example, the mainline brokerage firm will be able to gain access to crypto exchange technology, processes, and potentially even customers. And in return, Crypto.com could pick up more clients, have more trading volume, and ultimately earn more revenue. So in conclusion, if this happens, it seems it's likely only a matter of time before it does. Expect to see the price of Crypto.com coin, the Crow coin, rise substantially. So it's going to be a win-win for both the mainline brokerages and the crypto exchanges like Crypto.com if people go into this platform. So guys, all in all, fantastic news. I'm very bullish on Crow coin. I think it has a lot going on currently as well where a lot a lot's going to happen in 2022. You know, it's just not a meme coin. It's just not a lot of, of you know, hype there is substantial value and we're going to see this shortly guys so it's almost the end of the year guys i should have a few more videos coming out otherwise have a happy and safe new year everybody thanks again for watching if you're getting value subscribe drop a like turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys all in the next video